All right, so Not what really. is this residential center? Oh, this is a, um, a place that the ministry owns. Well, not own. We're we're in the process of buying that. Yeah, we don't so own it yet. So, are you renting to buy, or you yeah, we're leasing to buy. You have that as an asset of two point eight four four two million eight hundred forty four thousand five hundred. So, do you own it? I just answered that, didn't I? I said we didn't own it. Okay, we're but where to where does it. the? I'm sorry. We're leasing to buy it. Did, did you? I thought we just said that. All right, but yeah. you have listed it as an asset worth two million eight hundred forty-four thousand oh, dollars. Oh, oh, that should be more of a liability. All right, so where does the number two million eight hundred forty-four thousand come from I on your asset and liability? That's, I guess, the appraisal value of the home or the residential center. Yeah. Is it a home? No, it's a residential center. We use it. All right, so you're saying it's not something you own, but you have it listed as an asset of $2.8 million. That's probably a mistake. Like I say, it probably should be a liability. Okay, and what goes on at the residential center? It is a, a really it's a gathering place for our ministry where I bring in um, different uh, leaders and also the staff that we have uh, as a place of uh, you know, maybe um, resort and teaching and training. Resort? Yeah, teaching. A resort where we teach and train. On November 29th, 2013, JMMI paid over $6,000 to Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would that be for? Well, this is for clothes concerning my TV ministry as well. Oh, you have to wear Louis Vuitton? Oh, it don't matter what name it is. The point is clothing are allocated to us for ministry purposes as well. What do you mean they're allocated to you? You know, in a media ministry. In a what? Media ministry. Yeah. Okay, or on the road when I'm always traveling and using my clothes, I'm sweating through them. So I'm needing new clothes also for television ministry through the years. So. And so um, you use ministry money to buy your wardrobe? Outfit. Your it's, outfit. Called, it's allocated more towards uh, ministry um, apparel. Does that go into what your income is? I'm sorry. I Do understand. you show that in your income that you got Louis Vuitton clothing? No, that's not. That's, that, that, that doesn't show. Because it don't go there. It don't go there. Mm -mm, I don't no. know what that means. It don't belong there. That's out of place. What's out of place? You don't get taxed on things like that. That's okay. for that's for ministry business purpose. So it's not Louis Vuitton. Well, it's you can call whatever you want. So June <coughs> two thousand and fourteen, you spent thirty five hundred dollars by JMMI to Versace in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, I'm sure that's right, if that's, if and, it shows there. And those were, that was for closing for you? Yes, probably. Yes, most likely. So you, you don't see that there's any problem when you're ministering to the poor, the sick, the needy, to mm -hmm. be appearing in Louis Vuitton and Versace? Well, that ain't something I purchase all the time. Um, no, it looks like you did several no, times in... Uh, I mean, I, I'm a very frugal person when it comes to this I go to the right places to get a lot of suits and if I get some from those places you don't see that you don't that see bill. I don't see Macy's no you don't see that you know because Macy's don't have the kind of suits that I wear but what I'm saying is this this Louis Vuitton things you don't see that in our charges all the time 2013 <laughs> and 14 you spent over JMMI spent over thirty thousand dollars in your clothes Does that mm -hmm. sound about right uh, what, what year was that 13 and 14? Oh, God, yes, because I was traveling so much yes. and, and sweating through all my clothes. Exactly. That probably wasn't enough because just have so... But they have to be top-of-the-line expensive ones. No, they're not top-of-the-line clothes. Louis Vuitton's like, not top-of-the-line? Those not where I get my suits from. 
Well, you got something the, from them for yeah. spent thousands and thousands. Well, the the belts are more lasting, so that's good. Come on, you're buying belts for five thousand dollars? No, I mean okay. I multiple belts. Not August two thousand and fourteen. You went to the Gucci store in Troy and purchased something. Yeah, um, what like would that I say, be? it probably was a belt or maybe shoes. I, I don't belt know, or shoes. but I don't usually buy my suits from these very expensive places. I just get the the things that I invest in will last longer, like such as belts. So you got to go to Gucci shoes. or places like that. Well, no, this I buy those things from there because uh, they have a better TV appearance for the belt. For asking for money shoes. from the poor. No, it's um, <laughs> you paid a thousand dollars to Monsieur Clothing <coughs> in New York, and then another seven hundred and fifteen. Whose clothing was that for? Where is that now? I don't understand. August first. October 28th, total of over $1,700 to Monsieur Clothing in New York. I don't, I'm not, I don't know about that. All right, you testified at your last deposition that JMMI owns three vehicles, a BMW, a Mercedes, and a Bentley. Yes. Have you driven those cars? Yes. Is Michelle? No. We usually have a driver. The three cars that we've talked about, in whose name are the titles? Um, they're in the ministry name. They're all in JMMI? I think everything except the Bentley. Whose name is the Bentley in? Uh, it's in DeWin McDill. I have a question, just from <laughs> our, you know, you minister the poor and the sick and all that. It doesn't... <laughs> Isn't it a little offensive to be driving around in a Bentley and a Mercedes to people that really, um, you know, are impoverished and sick and ill and, and AIDS and drug rehab? Isn't it a little offensive to sort of being uh, showplacing what you have? Well, dear one, I, I don't uh, showplace the people, and I'm I'm not well, in Bentley. that car. You don't see me driving around in that car every day. I don't do that. But it's in you the know. ministry. Everybody <laughs> no. in the ministry sees you. You said you drive it. Uh, I haven't before. You just asked me have I drove it. But it ain't something I drive every day or even every year I don't do that. I have drivers who pick up my guests, my high profile guests. No. But do you see no. my point that people that mm -hmm. um, are suffering and giving you whatever their last <laughs> dime is and mm -hmm and donations and you know drug habits to have them see you drive around your high profile guests in a Bentley or Mercedes might be offensive and hurtful even. It, it could be offensive if they didn't know my life but they oh. know my life. It, it would be offensive to someone like you who's trying to make it bad you know okay. but you know. So it's important your attitude, you have a Bentley. It ain't really important that don't make me. Then you also have um, a Land Rover that you lease. <laughs> Uh, Range Rover. Range Rover. Yes, it's not a Land Rover, it's a Range Rover. Which is the better one, I don't even know. <coughs> I don't know. Um, just cars, that's so. all. All right, then there's a series of documents that total almost $50,000 mm -hmm. um, to Limo Land mm -hmm. in 2013 and 14. <coughs> um, mm -hmm. You have to answer yes. Instead. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. What was that for? That uh, was to cut the Mercedes into a limo. It was to cut the Mercedes into a limo. And who needs that? No, that's for guests. It's for guests and for mm -hmm. you. It's mostly when for you're guests. entertaining guests. Yes. When you're entertaining. Well, I'm not. When we have guests come in, high-profile people, we mm -hmm. we, um, we have treat to have a limo. them that way. Don't have to have a limo, but in, in we, a Mercedes limo, we treat them. You treat them. I said that we hospital have hospitality. Maybe that's a better word. <clears throat> okay, then. And this is not the first one the ministry has had. We oh, had that's another the first? Mercedes limousine. Oh. Yes, right. So. So you paid limo land almost fifty thousand dollars total. Almost fifty thousand. And that was for what to to make a limo. 
to cut the Mercedes into a limo. And, and you think that was a good use of the money that people donated to you in JMMI? Well, I mean, the banks certainly um, have looked at that on our books as good because it has an appraisal value of almost 200 k a little over 150000 So, But you got this from donations, and you decided to use it to make a limo. Uh, we really invested really good. The banks no, no, really No, I'm just asking that. if that's what you did. No, not the way you're saying it. It's, you're fortifying, forging. I'm forging? Uh, with your mouth, then yeah. Just the question is, okay. did you use the money for the purpose? No. The answer is yes. So. In June of 2013, there's over $6,000 worth of charges for the Disney Resort Hotel in Anaheim, California. Do you remember that? Yes. And did you go? Yes, I was there. Does JAMA my pay any of your auto expenses? <clears throat> uh, yes. And how much? Auto expenses, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know exactly how much. You don't know how much you get? No. Who the would board know? takes care of that. Who's uh, the board? You can ask Michelle. She's another person to refer to. What about your housing? Does GMMI pay any of that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You get a housing allowance? Yes. And how much is that? Uh, I'm not sure. And do you report these uh, allowances as compensation on your tax return? Um, honestly, I don't know how all that work I have other people who does do that, so you can refer to Michelle on that. Michelle does your taxes? No, I have other people do it, but she's over a lot of that, the financial aspect. When you say it's up to the board, now the board includes <laughs> Michelle? Yes. You? Uh, yes. And who else? Um, I'm not sure you can ask Michelle. You don't know who's on the board? Uh, totally. I would rather you get the accurate information, because I don't want to be accused of answering falsely like I have been other times when I've tried to guess. So I, I just rather you, I'm telling you I don't know, just ask her. How many people know. are on the board? I don't know. Just You don't know? A, no. Don't you have to have board meetings? Uh, yes, we do have board meetings. So don't, can you count around the table how many people <laughs> there are? Well, our board also grows at the same time. So I just rather you um, just get that information somewhere else. The last time you had a board meeting was when? Um, so on the phone, I think the beginning, it's been the beginning of the year in January. Can't exactly tell the, the date, but... It was on the phone? <coughs> yeah. I have never been to court for no criminal charges. <coughs> Did you ever hire... An, pardon me? Go on. Did you ever hire an attorney to uh, represent you in any criminal defense manner? Um, yes, I have. Um, and that was the only thing I could think of in 13 is um, me, you know, when I disciplined my child and that was the only thing. So I, I, I don't know anything other than that. Hey, tell criminal. me about that one. Was that in St. Louis? Yes. Mm -hmm. And which child was that? Um, that was last year, I think. Or well, the year before last, if I'm not, 13. So. Which child? Uh, Destiny. Your 18-year-old daughter? Yes. Mm -hmm. And was this done through Children's Protective Services? I think so, yeah. And what were the allegations? Well, that, um, that I had disciplined her because she skipped class 20 times and, and they felt me, um, my discipline measure of using a belt was abusive. All right, so you, you used a belt in disciplining Destiny? I don't know if I can speak on that. Uh, can I speak on this? Because uh, my, my lawyers told me about it. Uh, then, I, not knowing this, the status of those proceedings. Uh, is it resolved? Is it all done? It, it, um, I'm, I'm going to object to Well, let me oh. just ask if it's okay. what the status is. Um, you know. I don't know. All right, I'm not asking you to say what you did. I'm just asking if the mm -hmm. allegations were that you discipline your daughter with a belt and cause okay. uh, I mean, just allegations. Well, you, you may ask, but I'm going to propose a constitutional mm -hmm. protection. What's the mm -hmm. constitutional? No. I'm not asking him to say what he did or didn't do. Mm -hmm. Anything that might lead to or otherwise be my 
considered to be incriminating. I think mm -hmm. he's got a right I, to assert it. I think right. he can tell me what the allegations are. That is not privileged well, Fifth Amendment or otherwise. Well, it is because he doesn't, if he doesn't know, he's I speculating. And I don't. Well, he's not privilege. saying that. I don't, I don't know. I don't assert the privilege. It's absolute. Okay. Somebody wants to take it. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know who the lawyer is. He doesn't seem to know the condition of the matter. So to avoid any kind of drift, and I think maybe you, you might be concerned about it as well. Well, is this, is this, uh, let me ask you, did this rise to the level of court intervention by the local court in um, St. Louis that, that does? Uh, don't speculate if you don't well, know. I, I please don't, don't know. testify for him. Well, I don't know. I did mean, you go I'm to court sure. on it? Um, what court? What you, Any what court. You, did you ever go to any court about these allegations that you disciplined Destiny um, physically? LaBelle. So would the would family court be yeah. known as? If you know. Yeah, yeah family court. So yeah. you did go to family court. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what was the outcome of that? Is it done? Is it pending? I don't know. You, you have no idea? No, I don't know everything. Is that why Destiny doesn't live with you now? Uh, yes, 